Today, we are going to show you how you can help protect Ontario's Lake Simcoe from the spread of aquatic invasive species. Ontario is home to over 250,000 lakes and rivers. One of the biggest threats to Ontario's waters is invasive species. Invasive species are plants, animals, and microorganisms introduced by human action outside their natural past or present distribution, whose introduction or spread threatens the environment, the economy, or society, including human health. Invasive species can disrupt a fragile lake ecosystem by displacing native plants and animals, as well as interfering with recreational activities such as boating and swimming. Once established, invasive species like Eurasian water milfoil or the zebra mussel can easily travel to new lakes by hitching a ride on recreational boats that are not properly decontaminated. The introduction of an invasive species or disease to a fragile lake ecosystem can have serious impact. As a recreational boater, there are steps you can take to prevent the spread of invasive species when traveling from lake to lake. The Invading Species Awareness Program recommends boaters follow the Inspect, Clean, Drain method to remove invasive species before entering a new lake or river. Before leaving the boat launch, inspect your boat, motor, and trailer for any visible signs of contamination. Remove all aquatic plants, mussels, or other organisms and put them in the garbage. Invasive species can be hard to find, so be sure to look carefully. The next step is to drain any lake or river water that may have been collected in your boat while on the water. If you have an electronic bilge pump, turn it on and pump out any water in your boat's bilge. However, even the best bilge pump will not eliminate all standing water. Therefore, remove the plug before leaving the boat launch to allow all of the water within the boat to drain. Leave the drain plug out while traveling. Drain all water from your live well, if you have one. Lower your outboard all the way to drain standing water in the lower unit. Once water has stopped dripping, the outboard can be raised and secured for trailering. The final step is to clean your boat to remove the organisms you can't see. Microscopic invasive species like the spiny water flea or a juvenile zebra mussel can be impossible to detect with the naked eye and may still be alive on your boat. To clean your boat, you have three options. Rinse your boat with hot water, at least 50 degrees Celsius or hotter. Or clean your boat with a high pressure washing system with at least 250 PSI or greater. Or, leave your boat to dry for at least five days in sunny weather. If you are an angler using live bait, remember to empty your bait bucket on land and never into any water bodies. If you have leftover unused bait, you may wish to freeze or salt your bait for further use. By following these simple steps, you can help prevent the spread of invasive species. Do your part to protect Lake Simcoe Make inspect, clean, and drain a regular routine every time you go boating. For more information on boat decontamination, invasive species, or to report an invasive species sighting, please contact the Invading Species Hotline at 1-800-563-7711 or check out their website, invadingspecies.com. <laughs>